how are you? I'm awesome, how are you? Good. That's good. Look at this beautiful white fresh house. Who are we going to see? So Sky Bartlett. So she owns Debonair, Debonair Properties. She has just completely transformed. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so I can't wait to have that conversation with her. When I first met her, she was just so nervous. I remember exactly her walking in, and also the Nav Business Centre, her walking in, doubting herself so much. So she's one of the people I really, I'm really extremely proud of because she's really come a long way. So let's do it. Oh, let's go. Just before five, print out my my tickets and I have a look and it's from Tom Marine at the line. And it's 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> When you wrote the plan of all things I need to do for my business, I'm like, hmm, you have no idea. Like, you're not a property manager. You don't know how hard it is to just yeah. do that, you know. And I suppose sometimes you have to um, you have to live it first before you can do it. You know, I had an experience yeah. with a staff member that I didn't get along with, and I didn't know how to. I'd never asked some, you know, dismissed someone before. But yeah. when you're sitting in the car looking for your Wi-Fi because you don't want to go into the office. That's brought so much confidence in me, and I know I could do it again if I have to. It's not a pleasant job, but it's, yeah. it's that confidence, and it's this is this is me, and this is my business. Yeah. So it's all that confidence that you you know you give the people that is just absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, and I'm so thankful for. Oh, cute. You make me cry. <laughs> Stop it. No, but it is. Like, if I hadn't met you, like, you wouldn't have given me the confidence. And, like you said, I wouldn't have done this four years ago. Oh, look at you. <laughs> I love your eyes. I'm okay. <laughs> but, yeah, so four years ago, um, you had me crying. No, I got you. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's what it's about. Let's open the machine. Go on. Go on. Let's do it. Um, I suppose. Now, hold on. I really need that champagne. <laughs> We're gonna have a champagne later. <laughs> I saw what was in Sky, and she was holding herself back so much. Oh, stop <laughs> it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think it's all the experiences that you have along the way that hold you back. That you need someone like you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that you need someone like you to remind you of what you can do after everyone's put you down or all the different things that, that, that's happened. So yeah, it's beautiful that you've been able to do that. So thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> because I think it's that, it's finding the, the rawness mm. and breaking it and that it's okay. Um, this is okay. Yeah. Because um, you are, you are human. And I think that's the thing, people don't, you know, people don't realize what you go through. And because you don't show it, and I don't show it. You know, I don't advertise on a single home. Unless, you know, I find someone who, you know, we're having a, you know, a really great conversation with. But yeah. no one knows that yeah. I'm a single mum. Like, if you asked all my tenants and landlords, a handful might know about it. Because we've been talking about different things. Or yeah. to get on their same page. So it's not something that I advertise about. Thanks, ladies. It was so nice. I know. You guys cried together. It was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> It's reflective <laughs> and it's end of the year.
So we're interviewing and I thought, how long has it been since we've known each other now? When my hair was blue. <laughs> Yeah, when your hair was blue, we first met. And it wasn't I supposed to be blue. I reckon it's two and a half to three years now. Yeah, so coming up to three years. Yeah. And how ironic is it that we met, like even when I talk about, say, Sophie, when we met, I met Sophie. Yeah. yeah. Being my real estate agent, you are my hairdresser. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so what a journey, huh? Oh, it's been, it's been, especially this year, it's been really, really good because I didn't yeah. actually know what you really did until the first time I came to one of your free events just to support you. Yeah. And I just, from that moment, I knew that I wanted to be a part of what you're doing. Yeah. I loved the being present exercise. That was something that I hadn't done. And then I really love all of the different ways that you, you know, how to read people and different personalities and all of that sort of thing. So yeah. that's really, really intriguing to me. But I think for me to then want to be part of your crew was I wanted to be on the serving side of the room and make sure everything was everyone was comfortable and everyone was happy in the room. It's following you around for a while now. <laughs> Some events. people call it stalking. But that's all good. <laughs> Being sitting there and usually me being in a group of people, I'd be up there and doing this and doing that, and I actually felt myself stepping back. Yeah. Um, but it was good for me to do that because yeah. that's how I felt. Yeah. So yeah, no, it was good. The window, but I'm not. Hello. 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 Excellent. Get your champagne soon. You're gonna have soon. a champagne. Yes. Not right now. Soon. So I knew Deb would have a champagne. She's in the party yeah. mode. <laughs> She's in strangulation. <laughs> Basically, we have helped 110 families and so 350 hard. odd kids with gifts that they may or may not have got anything. Wow! And, you that's know, like 300 and just... something smiles on yeah. Yeah. this morning. Like yes. that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Just beautiful. Yeah. As you know, that was mine. I hated cameras with a passion. Still not a big fan. <laughs> but I hated. Yeah. I can see you. <laughs> I hated cameras. Um, but progress over, over perfectionism yeah. is absolutely paramount. And the other one, the, the one that really hit me in the early days was when, with you saying that you're there to serve your clients, it doesn't matter what you look like. You know, if you yeah. put odd earrings on or you didn't change your shoes, nobody's going to notice. It's not yeah. about you, yeah. it's about the message. Do this, and you put all those silly shots together. And you do a whole movie, and you and Trav laugh on the weekend, and you get all the family around, and you go. <laughs> B and I. Oh, was that where we met? Yeah. Right. Well, you think it's your speech? It's not going to be your speech. No. I remember you telling me I like just to have pictures, and I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> And you said, I don't know if you remember this, and you and I said to you, yes, you, Chelsea was the speaker, and you said, yes, and I and I did a, a fantastic job yeah. or something like that. I'm like, wow. Yeah. No, what's changed for you? You gave me the courage, you gave me the confidence, I think. Um, public speaking's never been a, a strong point of mine, and um, you gave me that confidence and courage to get up and speak, and, and I am very proud of how I spoke that. Yeah. Whereas I wouldn't. So I figure if I can do that, I can do anything. Yeah. Because that was a major thing for me, just to speak about that. So I, I, I do have more confidence, especially coming into this year's event. I had a lot more, like a lot of lessons learned and a lot of um, more confidence in what I, what I can do and, and stuff like that. So. We're going to have a party. I'm stuck to the, ch I'm stuck to the chair. <laughs> Good. 
good. People have been since the training and what they've created and yeah. And how and if I think about you, it hasn't been that long. Like I was I've been speaking to some of the other guys and I've known them for four years and they've got on all this journey. But it, even though it's only a small small amount of time, it feels like I don't know, I've known you for a long time. Yeah, I know. It's almost like we've known each other for a whole <laughs> But it's only been since June, I think. Since, since or June. July. Yeah. Wow. It was someone watching because you know you've been in the room yeah. with me so many times, and you know that there's people sitting on the fence, and that they're they're looking and going, oh, they have all these excuses, whether it be. Oh, I haven't got the money, I haven't got the time, or maybe I'll do it later, or whatever it might be, or I'm a single mum and I can't get <laughs> anyone to look after the kids, yeah. or I have to travel. Like, what would you say to them? Because you have lots of obstacles yourself. Absolutely, like, uh, I'm a single parent, didn't have any money to pay for your course when I signed up. Yeah. Um, I didn't have anyone, I didn't know if I'd get a babysitter to even look after my kids when I was there. Yeah. Um, but more importantly, for me, the one the one thing I would advise someone is trust in yourself and invest in yourself because yeah. you can't be a good mum or a good wife or a good um, uh, teacher or nurse or or whatever whatever your job is or whatever um, or friend or any responsibility you have in your life. Yeah. You can't be your best self if you're not investing in yourself. Yeah. So I have to invest in myself, and even though there's a small sacrifice to my family. The greater, the greater um, growth and, and and future of my family is more important, and yeah. I have to invest in myself. Yeah, I have to take a chance, and if something scares me, it's scaring me for a reason. Yeah, and so I've learned to, if something is fitting into my goal, and it's a fear of what I have, then that's what I need to do. So yeah. the fear is what I use to push myself forward. And that's yeah. the direction that I choose. If I'm scared, then it usually means I've got to do it. Yeah. I'm really proud of you and I'm really, really proud of you. You've come such a long way. And I know you've had your challenges. Yes. <laughs> and, and it's how you've dealt with those challenges too, because that's what business is about. Yeah. It's, and particularly with the growth that you've had personally and what you're wanting to achieve and what you have achieved. You better go back to work. You're running a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's Thanks so much.